Can you tell us your name, your age, and what you do for a living? Um, my name is Glenn Ariel, but Glenn for short. I'm 27, and I'm a preschool teacher and an esthetician. Nice. <laughs> and what is your current relationship status? Single. Okay. Do you have <laughs> children? No kids, no. Just an auntie. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want children in the future? Yeah, eventually. Okay. Why did your last relationship end? Um, honestly, like, I just feel like he wasn't ready, like, to actually be in a committed relationship. So he was, like, cheating and stuff like that. So I was, that's, like, the cutoff line for me. Mm -hmm. So... We just went our separate ways and stuff like that. Understood. What's a <laughs> deal? What's a deal breaker for you? Cheating, lying. <laughs> <laughs> Understood. How do you handle difficult situations? Um, communication. I feel like communication is best. Like we sit down, actually, like talk about it, see what's going on, how we can fix it, if it can be fixed. So communication, mm -hmm. that's how I do it. Mm -hmm. Why do you want to be married? Um, I'm kind of like that type of person who just want to like be one person. So I feel like I need to be married. And my mom's not married. My father's not married. I think it's probably like only like a couple of people in my family that's married. Maybe like one. Maybe two. Um, maybe two. I'm not sure. So I just feel like I should be married. Mm -hmm. I need to be married. Who don't want to be married? Well, I mean, I know it's people who don't want to be married, but I feel like we should get that experience. You know, especially if you feel like you're ready to be in a committed relationship, you want to, you know, why not? Mm -hmm. Understood. <laughs> okay, Glenn, I want to go a little deeper. So I have three more questions for you. Okay. You ready? <laughs> yeah. Okay. When you were scared, sad, angry, or overwhelmed, who, if anyone, did you go to for comfort as a child? Um, honestly, nobody. Okay. Yeah. And how did you deal with that internally? Like, did you journal maybe, or like during those times of being scared or like, what was your outlet? What, what did you do for you know, for um, writing, that's something that I always did. I don't do it like right now just because I'm older and I'm busy like doing different stuff and things like that. So like growing up, I did like poetry and I wrote all the time. And that's mm -hmm. pretty much it, honestly. Mm -hmm. Are you a spender or a saver? Both. But I don't, I don't, oh, I don't do, do the most. Like, mm -hmm. I don't go overboard. Like, I know how to manage my money good. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. That's important. <laughs> what did you learn about relationships from watching your caregivers? Could you repeat that again? What did you learn about relationships from watching your caregivers? Mm. Honestly, I never, like, saw, like, them in a relationship type of thing. So it's, like, the stuff that I know now is pretty much just, like, what I, like, came, not, like, came up with in my head, like, or whatever, but, like, you know, just, oh, this is what I want, you know, because I really didn't see it. So, yeah, mm -hmm. if that makes sense. For sure. <laughs> Yes, for sure. Well, I want to thank you so much for your time, Glenn. Thank you so much. You. At the end of the day, I want, hopefully you can find that special someone for you. And if it's not marriage, maybe it's just a friend, maybe somebody, you just never know who you can meet right. through these connections. And this is why I'm doing this to connect like-minded people. And, you know, hopefully it is the altar. So you never know. Yes, that's good. I appreciate you doing this. Yes, for and I'm gonna sure. tune in and see everybody else, and we stay connected and stuff like that. 
Yes, for sure. Well, thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it. Thank you.